We now have our first look at a new version of the Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System, 70mm guided rocket with an infrared seeker on top of the existing laser guidance capability. The dual mode APKWS2 allows the launch platform to more rapidly engage multiple targets in succession, which could be particularly valuable in the air to air role when facing down large groups of drones or cruise missiles. Picture this a fighter jet streaking across a contested sky, not with a payload of half a million dollar missiles, but with compact, cost effective 70 mm rockets now capable of pseudo fire and forget engagements. It's not science fiction, it's the latest evolution in precision munitions. The revelation came from the bustling floor of the Navy League's Sea Airspace 2025 exhibition, where BAE Systems pulled back the curtain on its upgraded APKWS-2, an enhancement that may redefine how low-cost guided munitions perform in complex air-to-air -air and air-to-ground scenarios. The heart of this evolution lies in the addition of a passive infrared seeker, atop the already battle-tested laser-guided rocket. Dave Smialik, BAE's Director of Business Development, summed it up best. This is about increasing the rate of fire. Under the current laser-only setup, each rocket demands sustained target illumination from launch through impact, forcing the operator to maintain a lock sometimes at great risk. The new approach allows for anointing the target with a brief laser burst to hand off guidance to the IR seeker freeing the operator to immediately engage the next threat. In operational terms, this means a single aircraft can now rapidly dispatch multiple targets in sequence, with much greater agility and far less exposure. That's a game changer, especially against the kinds of drone and missile swarms seen in recent Red Sea and Israeli conflicts. Technically speaking, the system doesn't achieve true fire and forget in the sense of high-end radar-guided munitions, but it mimics it closely enough to tilt the tactical calculus. The pilot can briefly paint the target, launch, and move on. The rocket's IR seeker autonomously homes in, dramatically reducing the window of vulnerability. This configuration will have a particular edge in the air-to-air -air role, a domain where APKWS has already proven itself thanks to F-16s downing drones over the Red Sea using laser-guided versions. Those rockets were aided by a software mod called Falco, designed specifically to optimize APKWS for fixed wing engagements. Yet, the biggest constraint remained, the need to lace throughout. With that gone, a door opens to faster, more dynamic engagements, especially from fast jets like the F-16 and F-15E, both of which have been seen carrying multiple rocket pods alongside traditional missiles. Cost is where the new APKWS-2 could truly rewrite doctrine. Even if the dual-mode seeker pushes the price two or three times above the current $20,000 per unit baseline, it remains a fraction of the cost of an AM-9X Sidewinder, let alone an AMRAM. When an F-16 swaps one missile rail for a pair of seven-shot pods, it turns six missiles into potentially 14 guided shots with comparable lethality against soft or semi-hardened aerial targets like drones. The sheer increase in magazine depth is no small matter. Recent combat has repeatedly shown that running dry mid-fight isn't just a hypothetical, it's happening. During the April 2024 Iranian barrage, F-15Es had to resort to their cannons after depleting missiles, a desperate and largely ineffective fallback. In contrast, APKWS rockets, stored in volume and ready for precise deployment, offer a resilient countermeasure. BIA's dual-mode configuration isn't without its engineering challenges. Relocating the warhead to the mid-body to accommodate the new seeker raised questions about lethality, but early studies suggest the opposite of what skeptics feared. Not only is lethality maintained, the blast frag pattern may actually be enhanced. That means fewer compromises and more versatility. It's still in development BAE is self-funding for now and targeting a 2026 wrap-up, but its potential is already resonating across military circles. For missions where cost, quantity, and speed matter just as much as raw kill capability, this upgrade delivers all three. As adversaries refine their saturation tactics with cheap disposable drones and increasingly maneuverable cruise missiles, the dual-mode APKWS-2 offers something rare in modern warfare, a smart weapon that's both affordable and scalable. It bridges the gap between small arms and million-dollar interceptors, between brute force and surgical precision. And perhaps most importantly, it shifts the conversation from what high-end platforms can do to what they can do more of with less.
The question is no longer whether this technology will be fielded. The real question is, in a future where every second and every shot counts, can we afford not to?